In April 2024, after months of unsettling silence, Voyager 1 finally spoke again. From over 15 billion miles away, beyond the edge of our solar system, a message arrived, one that wasn't just a status update. It cracked open new mysteries, exposed strange phenomena, and delivered revelations that are reshaping our understanding of the galaxy itself. Yes, Voyager 1 has officially reached the other side. It crossed the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the solar wind from our sun yields to the greater forces of interstellar space. And now that it's out there, in a realm untouched by any other human-made object, it's finding that the space between stars isn't silent, empty, or simple. It's alive. A message from the edge. When Voyager 1 first crossed the heliopause back in 2012, it became humanity's first emissary to interstellar space. But in late 2023, the spacecraft stopped transmitting usable data. After 46 years of faithful service, it went dark. The silence was terrifying. Scientists soon discovered that a cosmic ray, one of the very high energy particles Voyager was out there to study, had damaged its memory system. A corrupted chip meant it could no longer format messages correctly. This was a 15 billion mile crisis with a spacecraft running on 1970s hardware. But in an incredible feat of engineering, NASA performed what can only be described as digital CPR. They reprogrammed the spacecraft remotely, rerouting commands through backup memory sectors using code written nearly five decades ago. Signals took more than 22 hours to make the round trip, yet engineers persisted. By April 2024, Voyager 1 was alive again. In May, its magnetometer and plasma wave systems returned to life. By June, all four active science instruments were back online. The mission was revived, and what Voyager began sending back wasn't just operational data. It was evidence of an interstellar reality no one expected. The interstellar medium is alive. We used to think of interstellar space as an empty void, a quiet nothingness beyond our sun's protective bubble. But Voyager is painting a very different picture. The spacecraft has detected an interstellar magnetic field sharply misaligned with our suns. Plasma density spikes that act like pressure waves, possibly remnants of ancient supernovae. A persistent low frequency hum, a whisper from the void, and most shockingly, an abrupt surge in cosmic radiation unlike anything encountered inside the heliosphere. Instead of a uniform expanse, Voyager is sailing through a structured, layered environment with boundaries, gradients, and turbulence. This isn't emptiness. It's a kind of interstellar weather. Magnetic fields. That shouldn't be one of the biggest surprises was the behavior of magnetic fields. Voyager's magnetometer showed a steep tilt in the interstellar magnetic field compared to the solar one. This wasn't just a mismatch. It was a cosmic curveball. It suggests Voyager is entering a turbulent boundary region where galactic magnetic fields twist, tangle, and potentially reconnect. Scientists now believe this turbulence could represent a larger galactic structure, a kind of invisible scaffolding shaping the space between stars. And it might not be static. These magnetic fault lines could shift over time, affecting how radiation and cosmic rays travel through space. Shock fronts and supernova ghosts, uh... Then there's the plasma. Voyager's instruments have detected sudden spikes in plasma density, as if it's passing through ancient shockwaves. Scientists think these may be the lingering fingerprints of supernova explosions that happened tens of thousands of years ago. It's like Voyager is navigating through the ghosts of dead stars. And even in the silence of space, Voyager hears something. A low-frequency hum detected by its plasma wave instrument. The cosmic silence isn't silent at all. It's filled with the subtle tremble of charged particles moving through space an ambient soundscape scientists call the interstellar hum. Imagine Voyager not drifting through a vacuum, but through an invisible, fog-like environment, layered, fluctuating, and alive. Cosmic rays, the hidden storm. Perhaps the most alarming discovery is the sudden spike in cosmic rays beyond the heliopause. These high-energy particles, born from violent phenomena like supernovae and black holes, bombard Voyager at rates far higher than inside the heliosphere. The increase wasn't gradual. It was sudden, like crossing a hidden threshold. 
This proves something vital. The heliosphere, our sun's magnetic bubble, is an incredibly effective shield. Earth, along with the rest of the solar system, sits inside a cosmic oasis protected from deadly radiation that fills interstellar space. But even outside the heliosphere, cosmic rays don't behave randomly. Voyager has detected patterns, suggesting that radiation flows through specific channels, like cosmic highways. This may be evidence of natural corridors in the galaxy shaped by magnetic fields or old stellar explosions. Could Voyager be drifting into a low-density void between galactic clouds? A leftover scar from violent galactic events? Some astrophysicists now believe we're not just studying local conditions. We're glimpsing the large-scale architecture of the Milky Way, a galaxy still reeling from its turbulent past. What Voyager 1 is doing now isn't just data collection. It's helping scientists create the first 3D navigation map of interstellar space. Its readings are being used to chart galactic radiation zones, magnetic field twists and turns, particle densities and plasma boundaries. This isn't theory. It's real-world cartography of the cosmos, and the implications are massive. In the future, such maps could guide spacecraft through safer routes, identify natural shielding zones, and help astronauts avoid deadly radiation. This is our early blueprint for interstellar travel, and beyond human missions, Voyager's discoveries are informing theories about how stars are born. Magnetic fields may funnel cosmic gas into denser regions, acting like stellar midwives across the galaxy. Interstellar weather, cloudlets in the local bubble. Voyager has already passed through at least two distinct cloudlets, localized pockets of plasma and gas that differ in density and temperature. These aren't random puffs of gas. They have structure, layered, textured fronts, like atmospheric zones on Earth. Right now, our solar system is moving through a feature known as the local interstellar cloud, itself nested inside a much larger cavity called the local bubble, a region carved out by ancient supernovae. As we drift through these clouds over millennia, the cosmic ray exposure on Earth subtly changes, potentially affecting climate, evolution, and even mutation rates in life forms. Voyager's data is the first direct sampling of these interstellar environments. This tiny spacecraft, running on less computing power than your phone, is still teaching us how the galaxy really works. And in doing so, Voyager 1 has become something more than just a probe. It's our first real step into interstellar space. A messenger, a map maker, and maybe, one day, a monument that tells someone else we were here. If this journey fascinates you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Because with every whisper Voyager sends back, we're not just learning about the stars, we're discovering what it means to be part of a galaxy far bigger and more alive than we ever imagined.